Rafi Dain Bank announces the opening of documentary credits to ministries, traders, and private sector companies. 0 2 2 0 2 0 2 0 10 hours, 14 minutes, and 35 seconds. Al Rafi Dain Bank announced the opening of documentary credits to state ministries, merchants, and private sector companies with soft commissions. The bank's media office said in a statement that the Al Furat News Agency received a copy of it. He pointed out that opening the documentary credit for the merchants who carry out the operations of importing and exporting their goods and shipping and taking them out in case they conform to the legal conditions is easy with the bank because the Rafi Dain Bank is a government agency and therefore the completion of the documentary opening letter of credit is according to quick procedures that differ from other banks. Alcality, next Monday is the date for the parliament session, and the government will pass with a comfortable majority, with 220 MPs intending to vote on it. Wed 19, February 20, 20. 2046, political. Baghdad Nina Muhammad al Khalidi, head of the Bayrak al Khair bloc, next Monday sets a date for a parliamentary session and said the government will pass by a comfortable majority, with 220 deputies bent on voting for it. Registration now open for IBBC Spring Conference. February 19, 20, 20 inches 10th Iraq Day at the Mansion House. IBBC Spring Conference 2020. Iraq, open for business. March 30, the Mansion House, London. This could be the year Iraq gets serious about reform and investment. For too long, Iraqi governments have tinkered with reform, but with the protests, a growing population and a new government forming, there is a head of steam demanding change and jobs for young people. At this time in response, the IBBC Spring Conference, at the Mansion House, is convening the heavyweight players and institutions of finance, energy and governance to articulate what is required for change. All the more important is a high turnout of Iraqi ministers and deputies, and UK officials and politicians are expected to attend and contribute to the debate throughout the morning sessions. During the afternoon, an interactive series of roundtables addressing university, tech in Iraq, women's group and a special Kurdistan investment forum are convening ahead of a reception at Everest Sutherland headquarters. For Iraqi businesses an additional day of hosting by the DIT, we send British Chambers of Commerce to engage and showcase British services and products for export. For companies operating in Iraq or considering the opportunities it offers, then this conference is bringing together many of the key decision makers and drivers of finance and the opportunity to talk directly with the key players, including BP, Shell, World Bank, Kurdistan Investment Authority, Arab Bankers Association, Ambassador of Iraq, UK Ambassador, Chevron, JP Morgan, National Bank of Iraq, PWC, Jordan Bank, EY, GSMA, and more confirming soon. A death penalty is passed that confiscates a sum of money deposited from the Diyala Provincial Council at the United Bank for Investment. February 20, 2020. The Backwood Investigation Court affiliated to the presidency of the Diyala Federal Court of Appeal issued a judicial ruling to withhold a financial sum of 6,043,457,514 Iraqi dinars deposited by the Diyala Provincial Council at the United Bank for Investment. The media center of the Supreme Judicial Council stated in a statement, al Akbari received a copy of it, that the seized funds were previously collected by the Provincial Council through the local revenue law issued by it in 2017. Because depositing them in private banks is a violation of the General Secretariat instructions of the Council of Ministers. He added that the court indicated that the seized amount is from the state's funds and in order to preserve the non waste of public money and to dissolve the Diala Provincial Council and to violate the decision to deposit with government banks and present them to the public treasury, decided to seize those funds and place a reserve reservation on them and keep them in the United Bank for investment with all the benefits obtained on its deposit, indicating that the status of the precautionary reservation came in accordance with the provisions of Article. The U.S. Treasury Department imposes new sanctions on Iran. February 20, 2020. On Thursday, America announced new sanctions against Iranian figures, including Ahmad Janadi, head of Iran's Guardian Council. Among the Iranian figures that were included in the sanctions were Mohammad Yazdi, a member of the Iranian Leadership Experts Council, Abbas Ali Kadkadeh, Siam Akrabic, and Hassan Sadagadi Motam. A note posted on the website of the U.S. Treasury mentioned the names of the Iranian figures. The U.S. memo stated that punished Iranian officials forbid free and fair elections, 